What is up, everyone? It is Brandon Sav back for the new year. I appreciate everybody for keeping me focused and so appreciative of you guys this year. I have a lot to accomplish and I'm going to hold myself accountable. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed your holiday. And for the new year, I just figured out I would just uh, make like videos where I'm just literally designing throughout the day. So this is one of my tasks that I have to do. I'm actually creating a collage for Miguel's wife, Nazanin. And here we go. So I actually created one earlier in the year for her, um, for her one sheet or other people call it electronic press kits. It's basically like for short, for short definition, it's a resume for talent. Uh, everyone in the work world obviously has to have a resume, but if you're a talent, usually um, how they make it is the first page will have a bio. Second page usually could be pictures or accomplishments or whatever you want to put. So we decided to make a collage. And as of recently in November, she actually married her longtime boyfriend, Miguel. So which is dope. So today's task, I'm actually going to be creating a collage to sort of update everyone on. Um, well, when they send it out to update everyone on just, I guess, her recent accomplishment, if you could say. So here we go. Um, first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new document. And usually I like to make my sizes like a regular sheet of paper, because if you print it out, obviously it's going to be a, a regular sheet of paper. So you could go to print letter. Uh, everything should stay the same. Resolution 300, eight and a half by 11 RGB, eight bit create. And I have all the photos I need here um, in this folder. So I'm actually going to drag them all in in here. And we're just going to vibe out and create this collage. This should be easy for you guys. If you guys watch my other videos, I'm going to try to see if we can maybe come up with some new techniques for 2019. But this whole collage theme and and style is really picking up like to be honest i thought that not that it was going to die down but i really thought that a lot of people were going to get tired of it but it's actually picking up so it's perfect um so i have all the photos loaded what i like to do is since these are i believe they're 28 photos it's a lot um i was able to look at a few but i want to map out how i want this to look so um this is a great photo here. I'm actually, I might end up having that at the top. But a lot of you guys, it's funny because a lot of you guys are really, really holding me accountable um, to, to make more videos and, and such. Uh, the last video was actually pretty dope. Um, we did that giveaway. Uh, three people actually won, like I said, and they really liked the app. I was able to contact them and they really, really liked the app. So which is which is dope. And I ha I want to have a lot more giveaways. Maybe I give away a laptop or something or Photoshop something. I want to I want to um, interact with you guys a lot more in 2019 so we can actually build this 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 family like stronger. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually just resizing on the photos. This is obviously not the way that it's going to be, but with you, when you have 28 photos, it is hard to actually see how you want everything to look. Especially one thing I would say that is very hard is it's hard to make videos and show you the final product within say like the video six minutes within six minutes because obviously one there's going to be a lot of changes due to the client and two um like i may i can't it's, it's hard to really think on the fly if that makes sense like as a designer like there's no way i could just say one two three i want this photo here this photo there it's never going to be like that so a lot of people say i, I skip through the video 
it's only to save time like you guys don't really miss much it's, it's just if you watch my live videos you you'll see what i'm talking about but it's just a lot of like downtime and, and just me thinking and, and stuff like that so you guys aren't really missing anything but i could see where you guys get frustrated um especially if, you, if it's your first time in the program but just know i'm not hiding anything from you guys i'm not at all but i am actually mapping out these photos now so that's what I'm going to do. All right, so still mapping everything out. One way that I'm trying to get organized is I'm going to allow this collage to tell a story. Uh, so what I want to do is all the reception photos. I want to have it at the bottom and just transition into, you know, just the marriage in, in a sense. Uh, so the top will be, you could say getting ready, like how they're getting ready. And then the middle will be the marriage. So any photo that is reception, will go at the bottom. But every video, I'll, I want to make it a thing where I ask you guys, what do you guys want to see next? Um, I want this channel to be sort of implicated on what you guys want, not what I want to make so much. So I want to, I want to, um, allow you guys to take control. Like what are some things after watching some of my videos, not that I miss, but that you want me to explain more or do a second version of it. Uh, let me know, like, let's, let's start this conversation, you know? So we all could be better. So in the comment section, tell me now, what are some things you want to learn? Some photos that uh, inspired you? Anything, honestly. A lot of people also send me messages on, on Instagram with inspiration for them. Not inspiration for them, but pictures that inspired them. So it's actually dope. So I just want to leave that door open that you guys could communicate with me. And everything else like that. So let's go. So this is the part where I'm saying I'm gonna hold on. These are a lot of photos. I definitely want this to tell a story. So this go there. This is amazing. These photos really came out well too. Come out really good. That's one thing I love too. Whenever I'm working on designs, when you can have a perfect photo or clear high quality photos, that is the absolute best. But I guess it takes time because honestly, when I first started just doing designs for people around, literally i would get like cell phone pictures and everything else like that so it definitely takes time and you learn a lot more whenever you're designing obviously what to t what to suggest to your clients and what to suggest to other people what they should use etc cetera, etc cetera. so i mean it definitely takes time so this is one of my tasks for today Cause 2019, I don't want anyone to say, oh, you should have more subscribers. You should have more followers. I want to, I want to earn it in a sense. Stay consistent. 2019 is going to be about consistency and just posting more and just giving out dope content. Like everyone's going to know it's, it's me. Cause honestly, all right. That's one thing that I would say too. It's hard because in the beginning, I'm not talking about YouTube. I'm talking about designing. In the beginning, when I first started designing, you kind of want to make noise. Like you, you kind of want everyone to know it's, it's your stuff. You want to put your logo and you want to put your, your, um, your stamp on it in a sense. Like I always want to try to put design by be the vision or design by this, but obviously every client does not want that. So 
it's, it's, it's sort of like that gray area of how do I still get my stuff stuff to be known and obviously like with essay without having a logo on it obviously it's hard so what i decided what worked for me is just sort of um find you one you could find an aesthetic uh that you that you sort of design by and like so people know that it's yours um you could say like cause he uses the you you basically will know a cause painting if you saw one so like stuff like that just find something that that makes it you and then also your reputation i always say this in every video your reputation will be that logo for you on your album cover per se if that makes sense like instead of having to put your logo you can literally just be the best graphic designer you can be show them more previews give them more options throw in some extras like don't be afraid like everything isn't always about money it's it's, it's uh, about your reputation. So try your best to basically be better than than the last graphic designer they used. So with that being said, I'm going to let you guys think about that. And I am going to fast forward because I need to think about this and think about where I want to put these images.